Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's kind of early right now. I just woke up. Peace and blessings all out there. Got sent downstairs to the local kind of supermarket to do some shopping. So check this, planning my sugar-free challenge. I've done a lot of research, but hardly any prep whatsoever. So I woke up this morning, went to the fridge, gonna go and grab some breakfast. And I was like, shoot, I forgot to get like most of the ingredients that I needed to make any breakfast for myself. So, you know, research is easy. The implementation part is hard. So we're gonna go and pick up some stuff. I'll start showing you uh, some of the ingredients that I'm picking up, particularly for myself. I've got to get stuff for Hila and, and Zayn as well. It's kind of awkward because I'm on the sugar-free challenge and when you're in a family, it's kind of difficult because that doesn't mean that everybody else is doing the same thing. So, yeah, let's uh, grab one of these. Actually, I don't even need one of these. I need... One of the big boys. Oh yeah. Let's do this. So you probably know that most bread is actually off the limit. For a sugar-free challenge that's because they put in quite a bit of sugar into the bread so this is the bread that i'm getting for bila and zane because it's the bread that we usually have at home but this is the bread that i'm picking up this is rye bread um i did a bit of research on this particular brand because they sell it here in our local store and there is absolutely no sugar whatsoever in this there it is looks really different doesn't it i'll show you when i get back to the apartment but that's where I bread that I'm picking up for myself some bananas in fact most fruit is allowed so I'm gonna try and make use of that it's a shame here in the UAE and I mentioned this before that most of the fruit is really very poor quality um, so you don't get as much kind of flavor from the fruit as you would expect but yeah right now I can't really complain this is the only source of sugar that I'm allowed. Right, breakfast. What am I having, Beals? Poor thing. You know what, before I get into it, Bila is probably the one that's gonna feel this whole sugar-free challenge more than me or more than anybody else because Poor thing, she's the one who's gonna have to try and find adventurous ways to oh, feed her hubby. Feeding your bloody tummy. Of a bleed, what? <laughs> feeding my bloody tummy. Quaker oats um, with some milk, and I'm gonna throw in some of the nuts that I bought as well. I don't fancy anything Could sweet in there. I, they had dates, but like, I'm, oh, I'm Baba. gonna buy it from the other place. What about you then? You're gonna be on a sugar-free diet as well, yeah? You can't, he's too sweet. All right, so. You thought porridge was boring, right? Well, I'm gonna show you just how exciting I'm gonna make it. Porridge base is gonna go in there. I'm gonna blip some of these nuts. I got macadamia, cashews, pine nuts. Um, I'm gonna just add a bit of Himalayan salt in there as well, just for taste. And then, oh yeah, there's a banana. I'm gonna grab a banana and put that in there as well with some cinnamon. Move aside salt, but it's all about nut base. <laughs> that sounds so inappropriate. Anyway, uh, let's put some cinnamon in there. There it is, the finished product. Bit of a mess, but doesn't look bad actually. Let's get a spoon. Boom! Look who it is, Bila. For a change, she's sitting in the Turn front, not in the back. Speed. How does it feel? It feels really weird. <laughs> it's been now, two years, isn't it? It's been over two years. Yeah, you've been really? sitting in the back. I've been the chauffeur driver Continuum while she's been has a bit lux luxing it up in the back, but now she has to sit in the front with me. So for those of you interested, Umm Al Emirat Park, this is the name of the park. It's actually stunning at night because the lights and stuff are on. Um, but even during the daytime, like obviously the weather is quite nice at the moment. So it's, uh, it's nice to come to uh, like this. But at nighttime, when I drove past it, that was like the first time. Like they had a building back there and it was like bright blue. And I thought, what is this place? And then I uh, realized it was actually a park. This is the first time we've come to this park. It's a Pretty famous park here in Abu Dhabi, uh, but 
as with all of these things, you know, unless you get out and explore, you ain't gonna know. So do it. You're getting deprived as well. Yeah. Well, you, you don't have to. Yeah, but you I can order in. It. No. You can order in as much Popeyes. Yeah, that. I, he's gonna enjoy eating on their own. Here's the entrance. By the way, I forgot to tell you, this is actually a paid park. I think it's five dirhams to to come in, but well worth it. Look at the wide open spaces. Yeah, that baby crying over there is actually Zane. He's been such a lazy baby. <laughs> Come on, Zane. Look, can you see him over there? Throwing a tantrum. <laughs> this is video proof for all of you that keep saying that he's such a well-behaved kid. He is like 80% of the time. The rest of the time, tantrums. <laughs> Check this out. This is unusual because I've never seen one of these, but I'm sure most of you know what it is. Check out that beast. Look at that. This is a Segway. Look how awesome it is. How fast can you go? I can try. Okay, <laughs> just if you can stretch over here. Just will show you a little bit. Go on then. If, if your mother can. Ready? Whoa. That is pretty fast, man. Wow, I don't know. I'm not very good with my miles per hour or kilometers per hour, but that's got some oomph to it. He was telling me that actually once it's charged up fully, it has more of that kind of torque. Wow, that's pretty fast though. That is fast. That is fast. Where are the brakes? You just you like pull back, right? Yeah. To put the brakes on. You just take some training. You just see how to ride it. That is epic, man. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you very much. Thanks. Look how cool this is, man. This is a really interesting park. I'm kind of a bit gutted that we discovered it so late, but hey, you know, better late than never. I'm gonna go for this tender coconut, there we go. And... So let's get the berry one. Is that the berry? Is it the... Yeah. It's a berry it's smoothie? A one, yeah. Look, they've got yeah. fresh fruit and vegetable. Mm -hmm. That is as fresh as you get. after we got back from the park. It's actually late now. Um, we did a few other errands, but I didn't get a chance to vlog that. However, what I'm gonna share with you now is my evening meal. Check it out. This is what I'm having this evening. This is brown rice uh, with chicken breast that's been marinated with cayenne, black pepper, a um, bit of salt. What else was there? That's it really, and yogurt as well. Um, and this is essentially what I'm gonna be eating this evening. It's weird, like today I haven't had much of a appetite, which is strange. Um, I've been sort of having plenty of nuts. I bought some rye bread and um, I, I put some tahini sauce with the rye bread. I've been having plenty of bananas and fruit and coconut water, which I found all of that has really helped to kind of curb it down but this is day one really the challenge is to see how I can keep this up for a longer period of time so that's update over for day number one um, let's see how tomorrow is I'll see you later <music> 